A coalition of trade unions in Africa is calling on governments in various countries to review their tax and tariff system to boost investor confidence, especially on the continent. In its view, reducing the tax and tariff system will spearhead the attainment of the Africa Continental Free Trade Agreement. The coalition made a call at a workshop in Accra to deliberate on economic transformation. The workshop also focused on attaining decent work and a green economy. After deliberations, discussions advocated the need for African governments to industrialize and create jobs for its people. The coalition expressed concern about the need to spearhead attainment of the Continental Free Trade Agreement. Representatives from Uganda and Tanzania, Dr. Madina Goloba and Professor Prosper Ngobi, called for a review of taxes and tariffs to boost investor confidence. Government across the African continent indeed must find ways to promote youth digital innovation using green approaches. In Italia, government should promote technical and vocational education among the youth on communication technologies such as to, so, so as to harness the innovative and exploratory curiosities. And this should equip them with business and entrepreneurship skills as we transition to a green industrialization. Tax is one of those issues, but there are so many other issues that have to be fixed before uh, African continental free trade area becomes a reality. And of course, within the regions, we have quite a number of, uh, you know, a regional economic groups. The COAS, I'm not sure, but I think you also have your, your issues. SADC, Southern Africa, we have our issues. So if we are not learning, we have to learn from these uh, regional subgroups in order to inform this uh, uh, bigger context. Otherwise, it will remain on the paper. Anthony Gitini, who represented Kenya, was emphatic, moving Africa towards a green economy could lead to job losses. We must involve the government critically. And above all, when we have foreign direct investment, the investors must understand that these are our concerns as citizens of this continent. The Deputy Director of Research at the Trade Union Congress in Ghana, Mary Karimu, called for a living wage in order to achieve a decent work. Looking at having a strong tripartite discussions on it, taking the issues and the conditions each time before we can have um, the living wage. But between the minimum and the living wage, of course, the living wage is better because it looks, I mean, at a broader level. Um, I mean, collaboration between